Have you ever experienced the runner chaser switch? Maybe you were the runner and you became the chaser, or your twin flame was the chaser and they became the runner. This is so commonly reported and yet seems so strange on the surface because in our traditional understanding of relationships, it doesn't seem possible that someone could so easily flip from wanting to be with a person so badly to suddenly seeming to get cold feet, pulling away hard, or even cutting off contact altogether. There is a very clear energetic explanation for why this strange phenomenon so often occurs between twin flames, and in this video, I'm going to explain why it happens. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Are you the runner or the chaser? Again, these are just labels describing what, or I should say, how a particular twin flame counterpart is reacting, responding to the push-pull energy in the moment. And I say in the moment because it can truly switch just that quickly. In fact, it doesn't even need to have a long period of time before it switches. It can switch instantaneously. In fact, between twin flames who haven't yet come into a full energetic balance, this actually is switching in small ways all the time. You push, your twin flame pulls back a little bit. Your twin flame pushes, you pull back a little bit. This can even happen within a conversation. Maybe you've had the experience of connecting with your twin flame and you can both feel this deep magnetism. You are really connecting in this conversation and then you say something, let's call this the push, and they seem to pull back a little bit within that conversation. Maybe they physically pull away in some way, like they try to stop looking at you, like they will just try to avoid eye contact with you all of a sudden, or maybe they will physically pull away, like they'll take a few steps away from you, they will disengage from the conversation and start talking to someone else, they'll suddenly seem to close off, go, go cold and change the subject. This is the interesting thing about the ways in which these fast moving energies are constantly circulating between twin flames play out. Because like I said, this runner chaser thing that happens, it isn't just happening in what we would think of as a large scale way, someone cutting contact for months or years, it can even happen in the moment, in a conversation, in a day, in a week. There is no set time frame for how long someone can be in this runner energy, this pulling away energy, or how long on the flip side, someone can be in this chaser, this pushing energy. So let's start by talking about why the runner chaser dynamic happens in the first place. Twin flames have an intensified energetic bond. The energy moving between them is both far more intense than any other soul connection and it is also far more magnetic. So this magnet illustration becomes very important as we describe certain elements of the twin flame relationship because just like two very strong magnets, if they are pointed at the right side toward each other, can be drawn together very quickly, very fast. In the same way, if they get turned around, they can repel each other just as much. This happens to twin flames as well. They can be, and always are, very deeply, deeply attracted, magnetically attracted to one another like those two powerful magnets. But just as quickly, things can flip, 
and they can begin to repel one another. And in this repelling sort of stage, we call it the runner chaser because normally one person in the connection tends to be really trying to move the connection forward, trying to what we call push, and the other person is pulling away. Now, why does this happen? Why do these metaphoric magnets get turned around and begin to repel? The first thing we need to know and establish is that twin flames and harmonious union are intended to ultimately not experience this dynamic or not experience it forever. The reason the twin flame runner chaser dynamic occurs is because the energies get out of balance. Just like those magnets can become turned around and repel each other as strongly as they attracted one another, twin flames can get out of balance in their own energy and repel each other as much as they can also attract one another. Many people mistakenly believe that this balance is very externalized, that this is all about the balance you are achieving externally with your twin flame, like you aren't in balance with each other. But this isn't really the case. When the runner chaser dynamic is occurring, it's because each of you are actually out of balance within yourself. So the chaser is out of balance in the same way the runner is. They both are experiencing a shift in their energy that causes them to become unbalanced within themselves, which then manifests in the relationship. So one way to think of this in, in a way that is often described within twin flame connections, something I feel we should talk about here is the divine feminine and the divine masculine because when we refer to these two energies this yin yang energy we are usually referring to a masculine energy and a feminine energy and i should also say this isn't limited to a particular gender you could consider yourself female and actually embody the masculine energy in the same way you could be male and embody the feminine energy. They aren't bound necessarily to certain genders, although I will say that most generally, probably 90 to 95% plus of cases, the masculine energy is a male and the feminine is a female. Now, what happens is twin flames are attracted to one another like those magnets based on the balance between these energies. So when the divine feminine is stepping into her true divine feminine self and is balanced in that energy, she is extremely attractive and magnetic to her divine masculine, the twin flame, the twin flame counterpart. And the same works in the other direction. A divine male who is truly in his divine male masculine self is extremely attracted to the divine feminine. But because of the ways we are programmed by society, see, within society, we are taught to attempt to embody both energies. And there's nothing wrong with this per se, but what happens is often we get very out of balance by the ways in which we are programmed by society. The masculine is taught that he must completely hide his emotions cut off all of his emotions that he must simply you know work and be cold and calculated and the feminine is taught by society often that she has to step into this masculine energy in order to survive that she can't simply allow herself to flow freely to receive openly to love and to be loved unconditionally she must push and that is where that push energy comes into play and also why so often 
we do see that in many cases it is the divine feminine that is the pusher, the chaser. Again, this isn't always the case and it switches very often within relationships. So why does this energy switch? So let's just continue on with this kind of explanation. These energies get out of balance. These masculine, feminine energies get out of balance. And when they do, there is a pushing and a pulling energy that occurs. You see, when twin flames are in balance with their feminine and masculine energies, there is no pushing and pulling. They are at an equilibrium. This is often what we refer to as harmonious twin flame union, equilibrium. However, when they are internally out of balance, for whatever reason, the ways they were programmed in their youth by society, certain negative patterns they haven't yet broken, blockages within their energy body they haven't yet healed through, anything that is throwing their energy out of balance is causing this pushing and pulling sensation that occurs in the energy field of two twin flames and causes them to either push one away or to either, excuse me, push in the relationship, try to push it forward or to pull away. Many of us are very familiar with this dynamic, so this is really just a recap. I know many of you have probably heard this before. The interesting thing I don't hear talked about often is why these energies shift. The reason that these energies can shift again, even in the moment, even in conversation, is because they are constantly in motion. They are constantly circulating. And as your twin flame, your twin flame, I should say, is is always responding to shifts in your energy in very real time. So let's say that you are the chaser. You are pushing and pushing and trying to make this relationship happen. And then your twin flame is the runner. So they are running away, pulling away, whatever it is. Finally, one day you give up, and this is so often the moment that it switches. You give up and you decide, I'm done with this relationship. I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm going to withdraw my energy from this and focus on something else or let it go or whatever it is. In this moment, you withdraw your energy and as a result, shift the balance of your internal energies in a powerful way. This in turn causes your twin flame counterpart to sense that shift in your energy and they as a result respond to it by instantaneously sometimes becoming the chaser so again these are energies constantly moving between twin flames that bring out very natural uncontrollable responses within them as they sense an energetic shift within their twin flame The thing many people misunderstand is they think that the key to uniting with your twin flame is doing this, withdrawing your energy because they know this will cause this switch, this flip, this will cause the um, runner to become the chaser. But this actually is just you both continuing to play out this push-pull energy, this pattern in a different way. So really... The answer isn't to withdraw your energy completely from your twin flame, to block them, to just cut them off, to just pull away so that they will chase you because that in itself is an ego-driven solution. That is you being driven by your ego and saying, you know what, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to pursue this connection. I'm just going to withdraw so that they have to chase me. And as long as you keep doing that, One day, you will then begin reciprocating to them again, and then it could flip a second time, and once again, you could become the chaser, and they could become the runner, and it turns into this very frustrating cycle in which one person is pulling away, cutting off, getting scared, or just not wanting to put energy into the connection anymore, and then the other person is chasing them, and then it's flipping again, and it just goes back and forth and back and forth, but it's always out of balance. The only way to finally get out of this seemingly endless cycle 
is not to change your actions toward your twin flame, but to change your energies within yourself, to come into balance within yourself. Because when you achieve that internal balance, you will also achieve equilibrium in your twin flame connection. I have created a subliminal to assist you in achieving this inner equilibrium, this inner balance along the twin flame journey. This meditation track is available in a conscious spoken version as well as a subliminal unconscious version and is available in music, rain, ocean waves, and white noise. And the goal with incorporating this subliminal into your meditation routine is to clear away any negative blocks, beliefs, or patterns that are holding you in this space that is keeping you out of balance so that you can achieve that inner harmony that then externalizes in a harmony within your twin flame union. So that subliminal will be in the pinned comments and the description box. You can try it out completely free for seven days when you sign up for a trial account on my website, Sound and Soulful. I hope this video was helpful for you. I know that this definitely isn't beginner twin flame material. This is material that is difficult to even really put into words or conceptualize. So I hope that the way I explained it made sense to you because again, these are very energetic sensations, symptoms, and reactions. So sometimes it can be hard to find the exact words to describe them. So I hope you'll give me some feedback in the comments. Let me know, have you ever experienced this shift? Do you consider yourself the runner or the chaser? And has it ever switched up on you before? I always say this in my videos, but I need to repeat it again. I just really love connecting with all of you in the comments. I'm doing my best to respond to every comment I possibly can, but just know even if I can't respond, I read all of your words, your kind, supportive, inspiring words, your stories, and I just adore each and every one of you and I love this supportive community we're sharing and creating here together. So if you haven't yet, I hope you'll subscribe to this channel, join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy the holidays if you celebrate them. I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.